Have you taken the time to acknowledge yourself? Because every day you are, you're proving your own strengths in ways that you might not even notice. And that's kind of a cool thing. That's one of the things that my uh, wife asked me from time to time, especially if I move from one thing to the next to the next, and maybe I accomplish some things along the way, but I don't take time to notice them. And she'll say, have you acknowledged yourself today for that? So let's take, take a moment for a second here and just think, each time you choose to keep going, you're showing yourself how strong you are. And I get it. You know, life can have so many things around us that seem so compressing at times. But somehow you keep going forward. And you might not always see like the big, you know, the big dramatic things. But it's really in those small things that almost seem insignificant. The daily actions, the choices that you make to keep moving forward. And sometimes, you know, it's. We just need that little reminder that, gosh, these steps are really building your resilience over time. So let's talk about this resilience today and just trusting your, your strength every day. But before we get into all this great stuff, when you are ready, I, I always love to say it, head down to uh, talk to Perry.com. I'm pointing on the video here to the lower third because you can see it right there. And this is where we can build your own inner strength uh, at talk to Perry.com because I'd love to help support you in taking that next step on your journey and to really put together all the pieces to help you move forward as opposed to, you know, kind of winging it willy nilly all the time and that's what I did year after year after year and now that I figured out some things I can totally help you so let's talk about what it means to just trust in resilience often we look at you know, we look for proof of our own strength you know the big achievements the major wins and those sort of things are and, and this is even where you will see other people who have accomplished things you think, gosh, they were an overnight success, but it's always built on these little moments, pushing through challenging moment after challenging moment, testing yourself, learning lessons along the way. And every time you make a healthy choice, even when it's easier not to, you're showing an act of just that act of showing up again and again. That's a sign of resilience. This is one of the things, and I talk about this often on this podcast, it's about one of those things where I realized that I was really getting good at talking myself out of things. I, I, I built my quitting muscle very, very well. And so I thought, what if I just didn't do that? I, and I was always trying to look for a magic formula. And I'm like, I'm just going to find a couple little sections, a couple little gaps where I'm either trying to talk myself out of it or trying to get myself motivated or uh, trying to figure out when I was going to exercise. And I did a couple of really easy swaps. One, I caught myself when I kept saying I was going to promise myself to do catch up on it tomorrow or skip this day or maybe I'll just do this. Instead, I told myself, you're going to show up no matter what, at least for 15 minutes and almost every time. After I got started, I continued the entire workout. But I always promised at least 15 minutes. So that, that was the contract that I made to show up because getting started was the most important. Then it was just figuring out the time. And I was trying to always fit it in in the evening. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just extend it as part of my work day? Now, some people will get done with their work day and, and just head to a gym. I, got, I, I drove home. I had an hour commute and plenty of time to talk myself out of it. But because of that contract of showing up, I said, you know what? I'll just take care of the dogs, get my workout clothes on, let them in and feed them, and then get my workout done and just do that be, and no sitting down no relaxing no telling myself I've gotta I've gotta um, uh, get myself motivated so that and just showing up each day built the resilience over and over and over and over that's where the consistency and the persistency happened you know if you feel like you're hitting a wall just remember resilience it doesn't always mean powering through at full speed because you know, I've talked to a lot of people, if they can't do things perfectly, they won't do it at all. And a lot of times they aren't doing anything. 
<laughs> because they've talked themselves out of it because they can't do it perfectly. I, you know what? For me, it was I gave myself permission to just show up for 15 minutes and then I could back away from it. But I just knew if I could just show up, you know, for you, that might be just backing away when, you know, you're until you're ready. You know, resilience, I think, is adaptable and it's about listening to what you need and trusting what you need. But you've got to really find, really tune into what that is. Are you giving yourself a break because you need that or are you trying to talk yourself out of it? and use it as an excuse to procrastinate what you don't want to show up and do, even though it's going to get you to your goal. You know, there, there is that need to at least be willing to put forth the effort and try and go for it and realize when you're trying to talk yourself out of it as opposed to, gosh, I, I need to give myself grace. So I don't know what that looks like for you. But resistance, it's, it's really about trusting your past experiences and, and learning from those, thinking back to a time when you were faced with something tough because you've been through some tough things, right? You've accomplished some major things too. Here you are, and those tough moments, they can prove to ourselves how we can make it through to the other side, that we're strong and we can build up and trust ourselves. Now, there's probably a lot of moments out there where you can realize when, you know, I have a lot of people that will go, gosh, when am I going to start self-sabotaging when I'm going to do this? Because you've gotten good at recognizing that. But there's a lot of other things that you need to recognize and put your energy toward. So it's crucial to understand that resilience, it's not something that a few, just a few people are born with. It's something that we build and nurture and just every choice forward, every time you get back up after falling, that's a step forward. It's a more toward a stronger, more resilient you. It's proof to yourself that you are capable. You are worth it. You can do this, right? And that to me, especially when I uh, I lost my first wife. She was killed in a car crash. And it was right at that crucial time where I was starting to make some life changes, improving things for myself. And I could have gone down the path of, you know what? Nobody blame you. Curl up on the couch. Just you know, let, let, let things go and, and, and don't do anything. But I realized I, I, what, what sort of things can I control when life is so out of control? And I started putting my energy toward that. And the one thing I could grab onto was exercise and, you know, healthy eating. Now it's not like I, while I would love to say I got obsessed about it, it was just continuing to build that consistency muscle that way. And that, exercise that movement helped help me just grow and learn and to get through that grieving process so the, you know if there was any one big major thing for myself that I can give you a story was getting through that challenging thing but that a, a tough moment in my life you know just trusting in your strength that's a journey in itself you build it up day after day after day, but every step you take, every action you make, that adds up and builds foundation to accomplish a lot of things in life. And opportunities will start opening up for you that you maybe didn't even realize at the time. You know, progress, it's, uh, it's about trusting that the process works. Even if you can't see the results yet, just trust the process. Trust the plan that you choose. And you're, you are stronger than you think. And each day that you show up, you're proving that. So hold on to that truth and let let that guide you forward. And just know, I mean, it's about trusting and making that decision and, and committing to committing. I mean, a committed decision. You're showing up every day to your goals, to yourself, and choosing to figure out new ways, looking at possibilities, possibilities, learning and growing. And keep moving forward. You've got this, my friend. I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. Drop those down in the comments. And you know what? I'd love to hear um, what what is one big obstacle that you've overcome? You know, What is that proof that you have that you can do hard things? Drop those down in the comments. I promise I will reply. You absolutely rock, my friend. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready, to recharge your battery, make sure you go to talktoperry.com. That's talktoperry.com. 
PerryWhite.com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear, you know, what's going on. I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness. I do 52 weeks of free training in there, plus I coach and I mentor people, as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff, and we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend. If you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Last Podcast, it helps awesome people like you find this show even faster. And that's who I'm looking for, awesome people like you. That's all I have for this week, my friend. And just to let you know, you absolutely rock. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you on the next Power Blast podcast. And always remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.